Hey, what's up guys? How you doing? It is me, Lasty here. Welcome today to a brand new episode of the FC24 Ultimate Team Road to Glory. Hey, it's Saturday. It's episode number 211. Hope you're all doing well. As this video goes up, uh, I am likely to be getting ready to go to Portman Road to watch Ipswich versus Middlesbrough in our last... 3 p.m. Saturday kickoff of the season, I believe, um, because the final game of the season that we're at home is an early 12.30 kickoff with the rest of the league, I think. hope so, at least, anyway. Uh, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, do me a favour, hit the thumbs up button. I'd absolutely love to see over a thousand likes and subscribe as well to the channel if you're new. Cheers. Um, <clears throat> we'll start with the dailies. Uh, we'll get we'll get things like our 84 times 7s uh Rocking and rolling. Uh, we're going to get a... Oh, I thought it was going to be a Haaland there. A little Hagerberg double walkout with an inform behind it. you love to see that. And it's a Del Castillo 88 rated card. It actually doesn't look too bad, does he, to be fair? Um, but probably not going to go in many people's teams. Oh, there's also a Sandra Panos in there too. Uh, so with the duplicates from that pack, I ended up getting the one squad... Golazo Hero Nakata done. I know he's only like a 90 rated and maybe doesn't get into anyone's team, but uh, he's got two of the best playstyle pluses on the game. You never know when you're going to be able to Evo this guy into a complete and utter monster. Uh, but yeah, 90 rated Hidetoshi Nakata with 90 pace, 89 shoot, and 87 pass, and 92 dribbling. Well rounded stats, to be fair. Pinged pass plus, finish shot plus, four star skill. Five-star weak foot. Just a genuinely nice card. Um, for 180... 86? 87 rated squad? What was it? I, I can't really remember. You guys will have just seen it, so you probably remember better than me. I wasn't focusing on it at the time. I was th thinking about what to actually say. Um, but yeah, on to the next 84 times 7 then. It looks like another inform. English right wing. That's going to be Saka or Beth Mead. And then... So, a, f a pint of your finest Beth Mead, fair sir. And the inform is going to be... I can't tell who that is because it's... Uh, Lijukchenko. That's my best pronunciation of that name. Oh, there is an... There's a, okay, so there's one, two, three, four walkouts in the non-dupes. And then a 91 rated... Robbie Keane in the dupes. That was a great 84 times 7. That was a really, really good one. Um, you, they don't come around that often, do they? So because I wasn't working on any super high rated end squads or anything for an SBC, I put that Robbie Keane into a exchange pack. Um, and then what can we get here? Serbian centre back. Icon. 94 Vidic. What a huge dub for the RTG that is. That, my friends, is a massive icon pull. Like, yeah, it's not a Ronaldo or a Mia Hamm, but that is a big, big, big pull. He looks unbelievable. 96 defending, 95 physical, 85 pace. He doesn't have any form of anticipate, which will be interesting. But around, is he, am I right in saying he's like 500k, 400k, 4, 500k. A big old icon pool. Nice, high rated, uh, super, super crazy good centre back with fantastic defending stats. He goes to a, like a 96 overall with uh, an anchor chem style up to like 90 pace. Basically maxing out on the defending and physical. And we've now got a defence of Laurent Blanc and Nemanja Vidic. Nemanja? That is correct, isn't it? I know it's Nemanja Matic. Tell me I've got that right and I've not just butchered an absolute icon of the game's name. Probably one of, if not the best centre-back the Premier League's ever had. God. I'm just overthinking everything at this point. All right, let's move on. Uh, but yeah, what a big old icon pool that is. I, I love that for us. That's fantastic. So uh, although he doesn't have Anticipate Plus, he does have... Some pretty big ones. He's got like Ariel and Bruiser, I believe, which are quite good. Um, and then, of course, next to him, we've got Ariel and Anticipate Plus in uh, in Laurent Blanc. So that is just a uh, a fearsome centre-back duo to come up against. And will short, it will be sure to take me to four wins in the qualifier. Qual <laughs> qualifiers. Qualifications. That was the two words I got mixed up there. Uh, and, you know... The dizzy heights of potentially nine or even eleven wins 
in the weekend league. For someone of my skill, that is fantastic. Um, we get Osman in the first of our five daily 83 plus player picks. Too many in the next one. Not ideal. Uh, I need walkouts from these, and 84s and 83s are not walkouts. So, L so far. Uh, 88 rated in for Malcolm. Now, that is a that is a dub. That's a good one. Uh, and then the final one, be a walkout, please. Yes, another pint of your finest mead, sir. Um, so, although we got three dupes, we did get three walkouts, one of them being a nice in form as well, which is handy. Um, so, yeah, we can add those to the club uh, and put the duplicates into something. I put Beth Mead into a, an exchange and I think the 284s would probably just go into a team of the week player pick or something. Um, is that what it's looking like? Yeah, another team of the week player pick complete. We must have opened 100 of these by now. Maybe even more. Still no sign of Mbappe. Well, until right about... Oh, no, not this time. Maybe, maybe next time. Um... I had a couple of you there. I must have had a couple of you there. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, what are we moving on to now? Uh, the final day of my Golazo daily play done. Uh, played against myself on PS5 <laughs> to get that done. I didn't need to. I could have just waited because I end up playing the my champs qualies in a bit. But um, it gets me an 86 double, an 85 times 5. That's some lovely, lovely rewards. If I was a little bit smart, I'd probably be saving stuff for tots. But in my, uh, in you know, knowing that this was before Friday 6 p.m., I, I don't know if Tots is starting or if it's a warm up or what. You guys will know as it's Saturday when you're watching this. Um, but uh, I was like, one last chance to pack Drogba, tr uh, like untradeable, so I can sell the tradable one. Go all in for Drogba. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've ended up getting Nema uh, Nemanja Vidic. Surely it is Nemanja Vidic. Vidic, just call him Vidic, Tom, then yeah, you get away from any of that. <sighs> Who knows? Anyway, yeah. 82 rated in the next pack, it's only an 81 double, so you can't really complain there. Uh, yeah, 82 and 81, not ideal. So, 83 double next. Doesn't look like it's giving me an inform or anything. English, right back, go on, be a Trent. Hey. Little Trent, so we'll take, an, uh, take a nice walk out from uh, just an 83 double, and I believe he might be a duplicate. Is he? Yes, so he probably goes in as the 85 and above player in a team of the week player pick. Um, he does just that, I believe. Yeah, nice, that just works for me. My club at the moment goes, I've got all the 84s in the world, and then it drops down to like 80s. Like, there's nothing in between. It's weird. Um, and I'm just assuming that all of your clubs are like that as well at the moment. So now for the two reward packs for the objective, we get an 86 double where we can get an English right back. Go on, be a Trent. Oh, it is a Trent. <laughs> and uh, an inform as well. So we get a, another duplicate Trent after we've just popped one into a team of the week pick. Um, and a... A bull from Bayern Women. He's got 90 pace, 91 shooting. Bit of a crazy one. 88 dribbling as well. Uh, so, yeah, now need to find a home for Trent. Um, I ended up putting him into something. I don't know what. And then my 85 times 5 is going to be, looks like Bernardo Silva, double walkout with a uh, team of the week player. Come on. Come on. Be someone amazing. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's Del Castillo. We already have him in the club. But there could still be a Drogba behind this. Come on, last chance. Oh, no, maybe not the last chance. Probably is the last chance, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah, unfortunately, the Drogba, the Drogba doesn't happen. So I went in here and I thought, I'm going to, for my sorrows, I'm going to go ahead and complete a Francesco Caputo SBC, as you can see by the name. And then, what? What? They gave me an Alexandro instead. Oh, I'm expecting compensation. I doubt we'll get it. <laughs> it's quite visual to sh to see that you're unlocking this card. I know it says the wrong name, but yeah, I thought oh, I'll get Alexandro in there. And if they do end up giving any form of compensation or whatever, then uh, at least I'll probably end up getting it. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's let's hope for a big Juve win there so he can uh, go up to a 90 rated. And then he might be uh, quite usable. But champs playoffs time, friends. Uh, I did say to you I was going to be using... The squad that I ended yesterday's episode with. The only change to that is, of course, I've brought in Vidic. Um, 
over Bastoni. So Vidic is in. Uh, we've got Drogba up front with Colo Moani, I believe. Uh, and I go 1-0 down after 20 minutes against a fellow rtg -er. Um But yeah, Colo Moani with a nice turn. Holding off the play quite nicely. Knocks it into Drogba. Um, you know, and it, it doesn't go in. But from the resulting corner... Watch this. I think this one goes off. Does it go off like both posts? Yeah, both posts and then Drogba. So Drogba sets himself up. He, he heads it onto both posts as an assist and then volleys it home. And then he gets a header to make it 2-1. So uh, I'm like, yeah, anything you can do, I can do better, mate. And uh, Drogba goes in for the hat-trick. Uh, 20 minutes after going 1-0 down with 3-1 up. Getting ourselves a little rage quit. Game number one. Uh, lovely stuff. That was a really nice team, though, that that guy had. So... Uh, GG's on, on creating yourself such a such a nice squad. Um, but we get a victory in game number one, numero uno. Into the next one then. Uh, not the greatest squad. Really not the greatest squad for this stage. I reckon this guy has stopped playing for a little bit and then come back to it. But that doesn't help anyone really, apart from me. Um, as I do go 1-0 up after... A minute or so and then make it 2-0 uh, on the 10 minute mark with Garincha just sort of like sliding gliding past the goalkeeper as he sprints out and tapping it into the back of the net um so 2-0 you know six goals scored it's or, no five goals scored maths <laughs> maths tom um five goals scored and we're into the next one and uh, that my friends is a hell of a squad he's turned a sam kerr team of the year red though he's packed two team of the years bon matty and sam kerr could never be me. But what a finish that is from Kolo Moani. Uh, first time for me really using Kolo Moani on this game. I know everyone and their next door neighbour all used him at the start of the game. Um, but I never ended up using him. He was either too expensive or I just hadn't packed him. Um, but yeah, so this is the first time using a Kolo Moani card for me. And uh, I'm enjoying it so far. He seems alright. At least for the first few games I thought, yeah, technical, quite good. A little bit heavy, but... You Fast, very fast, uh, and can certainly finish. Next game is up against another <coughs> all right looking squad. Definitely some players there that can do you some damage. Uh, and I do concede a penalty after just two minutes and 50 seconds. Harry Kane steps up. You pretty much put your house on him scoring a penalty, wouldn't you? Unless it's against France in the World Cup. Um, but then, uh, yeah, my opponent goes 2 0 up here after a barrage of. Uh, to be fair, he had peppered my goal for another 10 minutes before he scored that one. So uh, I thought, 2 0, I'll let you have your win. <laughs> you deserve it. I'll move on with my day. And then we come up against the five back. And there was no one agile enough in that team to be moving, to be switching to a four back formation and playing someone in DM or something. I did have a check. He stayed five back all game. Uh, so it felt really, really good to get a couple of goals ahead uh, against this guy because. I don't really like playing five backs. Um, and he was quite good at holding possession. But then I broke on him and uh, was able to just almost like walk through the five at the back. It was ever so strange. Considering that, you know, you use, a, you use that sort of formation in order to be rock solid at the back. I was certainly scoring goals. So I went 4-0 up. Uh, he then scored a penalty, which I'd given away. Um, I then go 5-1 up. Early doors in the second half. And then actually, for the rest of the game, he basically had it all. Uh, I don't know if the, it was still a five back because I checked after the game. But then, uh, I mean, I do st st stupid stuff like that to let him back in. Um, but yeah, I, w I win 5-3. But yeah, it kind of just was in the game. Excuse me. Um, anyway, uh, at that point, I think I'd had enough for actually playing for a little bit. So I thought, oh, I got my four wins. Give the games away. Get the... Get the, the spoils of the rewards from that. I know it's not really worth too much me going from either four up to six wins at this point. Just qualify for the weekend league um, and that be that. There's so much so much easier ways to get rewarded uh, in the menus at the moment. So, uh, <clears throat> you know, almost like the bare minimum in foot champs qualies is what I'm... I'm never going to get the 10 wins to get the, the really good rewards um, because I'm just not quite good enough, I'm afraid, guys. I, I do, you know, I was 3-0 and and I was trying to go for a flawless run, but then obviously it just doesn't quite happen sometimes. Um, and that's okay. That's okay. Um, but, you know, we've, we've had a jam-packed episode today. We've qualified for the weekend league, so uh, I will participate, I believe, and... I mean, look at that for a squad. It's looking tasty, isn't it? I do think Colo Moani will come out for 
I'm going to go with Robbie Keane for the next few games at least until I decide that actually Werner's coming back in or whatever. Or maybe Kola Moani comes back in. Um, because he's got technical plus, but also that first touch plus. And I have been pinged passing it a lot. So I reckon he can turn the defenders with his first touch and get that extra yard ahead of them. And we might be through and able to score a goal. So I'm going to try that a little bit because ping pass has been my majorly favorite PS Plus, PlayStation Plus lately, as Wayback would say. Um, but yeah, we've come to the end of the episode, my friends. Looking forward to testing out this team in the Weekend League. Um, if you've enjoyed today, do me a small favour. Hit the thumbs up button. That'd be brilliant. And subscribe as well to my channel if you are new. Cheers. You can follow me down below. My uh, links are down there. Uh, have a great day. Take it easy. Up the town. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>